Hi everybody, San Bonano, welcome to my channel. Kamala Mondanum Legend on this channel. Say, I see Kuluma Reality TV shows, Nama celebrities, Kanyana my YouTubers. If it's your first time joining me today and you think you like the content on this channel, join the family. There is a subscribe button, Langzanti, press it. If it's black, it requires you to press it, okay? <laughs> but only if you like our content. Listen, you guys, I want to talk about Sanil Sewapeng from Real Housewives of Durban, especially after the reunion part one of uh, season three reunion real housewives of Durban. Usano came in as a newbie this season she was a newbie but she was also a friend of the show okay and uh, meaning that she was in a full-time cast member if you look at the cast uh, photo where all of them are there Sane is not there uh, Sane does not have a tagline okay that's how you say that somebody is a friend of the show okay so she came in as a friend of the show and she became like Mabusi in a sense that uh, she seemed to participate a little bit more than uh, the people, some of the people that were full-time cast members. And also there was a lot of uh, talks about her online, especially like on Twitter, uh, every time that she would say something because obviously she <laughs> she's always shocking us, you know. <laughs> and uh, so... Uh, she created conversation after every episode that she was on uh, if she said something then people would have something to talk about and that is good for the show you guys whether people are talking about you uh, saying that they don't like you or they're talking about you saying that they like you at the end of the day they are still talking about uh, the show the first episode that she was introduced to Sane was in episode 2 when she had the confrontation with Londi London and uh, of course, there were people that were uh, thought that there was a really good TV moment and there were people that just didn't like her from the beginning and a lot of those people were people that were Londy London's uh, fans and uh, they just didn't like how she interacted uh, with her. So some of the people that didn't like her were the fans of Londy London but some of the people were just people that felt like as a woman you don't attack another woman like that especially uh, when they have gone through, you know, a lot, you know, like issues in relationships, which is something that everybody can uh, go through. For me, you guys, it was different because I felt like she was good for the show. I felt uh, that in Real Housewives of Durban, the way everybody was just getting comfortable. It was becoming you know that show everybody uh gets along and then when they have issues they don't talk about them they gossip about each other but nobody's ever going to talk about the fact that they gossip about each other which is what the show is about whether we like it or not you guys it's it's about some of those things and that's what makes a good show how do you react when people talk about what you've said to this person about this other person okay that's what we watch when we watch real housewives so i felt like when she came in obviously people who had already gotten comfortable doing the show you know because obviously they were doing things behind each other's backs but nobody was coming out uh, confronting those issues and being real about those issues so when she came and uh, she confronted or she had that confrontation with Ulondi London I liked it I felt like it was a really good uh, TV uh, moment you guys but also the reason I liked it was also the fact that Ulondi London was one of those people in season two that was all high and mighty, Ubebugela Pansi Abantu, and she was in this relationship where she was acting like she was untouchable. And I felt like the other cast members that were with her in season two were not going to hold her accountable for that. You would say, okay, now things are not going well. Can you give us the answers about that situation? It was like they were going to let her just get away with uh, like sliding out of the show without actually explaining herself when it came to her relationship in season two. Because I do feel like uh, she gave us uh, half truths when it came to a relationship in season two so that's the reason i felt like usane was good for the show and i felt like the, her introducing her introduction in episode two was going to be how she was going to be for the rest of of the season i i i thought that she was going to be facing people and telling the truth no matter how uncomfortable it was and then when she was confronted about those issues that she was going to be 
uh, to take responsibility and accountability for those things. And it was either she was going to be unapologetic about it or she was going to be matured. And if she needed to apologize, she was going to do that. But that wasn't going to be because uh, Sane uh, went on to say other shocking things. She said uh, Annie has slipped her way uh, to the top and uh later on denied it and even with londi london at some point she said she did not uh, remember what she had said to londi london during the episode so by the time we got to the reunion for me personally i expected that usani was not gonna be somebody that uh took accountability and responsibility for the things that she had said on the show but so like i said on my full review that i had very low expectations of her you know the best that you're going to get with usane is a joke that you're going to laugh about you know but she's not going to be that person that stands and takes a matured stance with the things that she has said and done on the show if she needs to apologize you know just stand and say i apologize if she doesn't say i don't apologize and these are the reasons i feel like her communication is very frustrating to watch you know because she doesn't communicate very well i don't know if there is a strategy for her to say this is not that serious for me you know uh i'm just not gonna take serious take it seriously this is just a game for me we are on this tv show and and it might be but also i just feel like she doesn't communicate uh well because even in us finding out that the para that she was talking about was not uu dakuru was someone else you know and and it didn't deny that it was someone else it, it shows that what she was saying is true but the way that she explains it she doesn't communicate it well so that you understand her point and you understand why she thinks the way she thinks she says the things that she says and so a lot of the viewers walked out of the reunion feeling frustrated with her a lot of the viewers are feeling like she shouldn't come back next season a lot of the viewers are saying that she is crazy she needs to be admitted uh, in a mental institution because she's not well in the head i don't think that it's that extreme i just feel like she's not somebody that communicates well and i don't feel like she takes the show as still as seriously as sh as she should and maybe that's a strategy too but she really really doesn't communicate well and she doesn't take accountability or responsibility I don't know how the producers are going to feel about her. I personally would be disappointed if she doesn't come back next season, but I feel like I would also understand it because a lot of the viewers don't like her. And I think that uh, they do uh, consider that when they considering whether you're coming back next season or not, how people feel about you. It's either they would, they, they're going to say, okay, they don't like Usane, but they talk enough about her to uh to a point where we feel like it's a positive thing for the show so she must come back or they might feel like you know but nobody wants to see usane on 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 their tv screen so there's no point in bringing her back it would be a disappointment for me because i do want her to get the next season and just see if she improves of some, on on some things however i don't want usane to come and uh because the only time that you would think uh Usane is behaving is when she's quiet. So if she comes back next season and uh, she changes, now she doesn't say the things that she says uh, about the other women, but she's just quiet now and just, you know, gets along with everybody. There won't be a point in her being around. There is a part of her that I want that she brings out of the women, but afterwards I want her to be able to take accountability for that. So. I don't know you guys for me it would be a disappointment if she doesn't come back but i also kind of feel like i would understand why they wouldn't bring her back because i am seeing that a lot of the comments people don't like her presence because of the way that she is not able or she decides not to communicate well uh the things that she's uh, supposed to be communicating so yes you guys people are not liking usane i'm still on the like for usane just for the show <laughs> okay i'm still like if they say come back i'm gonna be happy about that but uh nonetheless you guys will see what the producers decide about this one but 
yeah i would understand if they say she's not coming back anyway you guys thank you so much for watching this video please tell me what you feel or how you feel about usane being on the show and maybe possibly coming back next season or possibly not coming back next season and also like the video before pume girl and share it with your friends with your family and even with strangers and tanda